Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a small amount of red on the two inch brush. I'm going to come right over here and paint in a nice glow in the sky. And let it get softer as it works up. Now without cleaning the brush, we can go into a little bit of yellow. And then that'll make like a nice orange color. And put that right up here. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can come in here and just blend out this whole sky with big X's. Make it look nice and soft. Now with the one inch brush, with some yellow and brown, a little bit of black, we can tap in some nice trees up here. These are real far away, not very much detail. Now I'm going to change the color slightly, make it a little bit darker, and then put another row of trees right in front of that one. And then because this row is darker, it'll look closer. Now I'm going to change the color again, added a little bit of red and blue. And we can do even more trees. Now notice this light area I'm leaving in between these dark trees. That kind of sets them apart and makes these these three rows here look different, separate. Gives depth to your painting. Now when you're done with all your background trees, you can take the two inch brush and just go like that. A little bit of red and yellow. I think we'll have some snow here and also some water. So we'll turn that into reflections. Now with the one inch brush, some white and red, we can come over here and drop some snow in. Just like that. We already have some shadows under there, so let a little bit of that show through. Now with the one inch brush, a little bit of brown and black and some blue, we can come over here and pull down and get some reflections. Pull straight down and then go across. Now before we go any further, I'll grab some white on the two inch brush and up here I want to highlight just a few of these trees, a little bit of snow on them. And that'll help to push the background trees even further back into the distance. We don't have to highlight every single one, just a few. Now with the one inch brush and some white, we can shape a few little snow banks up here. Now work in layers with these, leave some dark shadow, some of that pink showing through. And kind of have them sloping down toward the water. Now with some dark color on the one inch brush, we can put a couple of bushes right here. Just push them right in. And maybe one over here. Now with the one inch brush, we can add a little bit of highlight to these, just by pushing. Now with a fan brush, we can grab a little bit of that color, just move it around. This creates some more shadows in the snow. Just grab it and pull it. Same over here. Now with the knife and some brown, we can come over here and just drop a big tree in. Maybe we'll have a few up here. But we just have to block them in with dark color first before we highlight. Now with a little bit of white, we can highlight this tree. Maybe these will be birch trees today. So we'll just put the knife on one side, touch, and pull it around. Now with the script liner, we can add in a few little limbs. I think all the leaves are probably all dropped off. Now maybe over here, we could put another tree. I'm just going to do this one with the script liner. Just kind of wiggle them in. Make them look real old and have a lot of character in this tree. Now back to the fan brush, and we can grab a little bit of the tree base and just pull it. And get some shadows in the snow. Same over here. Grab them and pull them. 
Now with some white on the fan brush, we can finish this painting off by just flicking a little bit of it onto the whole painting. And it creates snow that's actually falling. Kind of gives it a nice effect. Really finishes it off real nice. So just do that over the whole painting. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll put the link below. And also friend me on Facebook. I'll put that below too. And thanks for watching.